Alright guys, welcome back for another episode of Food Culture. Today we're discussing how to cook a steak. Do you like it medium rare? Do you like it medium? Do you like it medium well? Somebody like it well done, who knows? But we're gonna talk about those little techniques of really getting the perfect sear on the steak to really get the crusty outside and the really tender beef on the inside. So stick around and um, let's talk about this. Welcome back everyone. We're talking about cuts of steaks. We're talking about cooking steaks, the simplicity of just a well balanced cooked steak for dinner. Maybe for lunch, maybe just for a snack. But you know, you have cuts of New York strip, you have cuts of ribeye, which is one of my favorites. You have hanger steak, you have the most popular filet. So, but these are all these very various steaks that people enjoy across the world. But What's your favorite? Today we're gonna to delve into uh, the ribeye, bone and ribeye. You wanna use bone in because you want some of that marrow to really give it full flavor, added flavor as well, versus the bone in uh, filet, bone in ribeye, or even the bone in uh, New York strip. So let's get going. Uh, first things first, we're gonna just really season it with salt and pepper. You know, you can't go wrong. You know, some people like it uh, as far as um, using other spices. You can add garlic if you want. You can add uh, thyme, you can add oregano, you know, whatever whatever makes it work for you. That's what we like, we like to add as well. But today it's just with use a simple salt and pepper. So I add, you know, uh, two to three tablespoons of olive oil. So once we start to see a slightly smoke point, that's when I really, really want to go ahead and with the steak, you know, allowing the crust to really uh, take place on the outside, a nice little crust. So once we once we're able to get this into the pan, are we going to cook for four minutes on the east side, at least, at least four minutes just to achieve a medium rare to get it to at least 150, 115 degrees, which will take a temp later. As you can see, a smoke starting to form. And that's where we're gonna add the. Now we're gonna let that cook. And get happy. When I'm being happy, I'll be happy. Get happy on both sides. And um, once we remove this from the pan, we're gonna glaze it with uh, chicken stock. Normally you can use the glaze with red wine at first, if that's your, your preference. Reduce that, add chicken stock, reduce that. Then we're gonna finish with butter, compress herbs, some thyme, some rosemary. So we finish off a quick pan sauce to accompany the steak. Now the steak has been cooking for at least four minutes. We're gonna give it a nice turn. And repeat those same steps. Turn the fire a little higher. Repeat those same steps on the other side. Once we're able to get the caramelization, we're gonna add uh, at least four cloves of smashed garlic, a couple scoops of thyme, a couple scoops of rosemary, and of course my favorite, Probably your favorite too, but so get those steps going. So it's been three minutes that uh, we've been cooking the steak, so it's starting to get a nice, crust, beautiful caramelization on both sides of the uh, steak. So that's where we're going to add for the first time. Start to hear that crackle. Get the um, oils and the uh, thyme, the oils and the, even the oils and the herbs, even the rosemary, to really release. So this is one spray. One nice spray of rosemary, and we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Turn the fire down a little bit. And four. Four cloves of uh, butter. Let that cook for a minute, and you can see the uh, the butter starts to bubble. All you do is just really I like to tilt the pan, just kind of just baste the steak, giving you a richer steak. The butter also helps cook the crust as well. 
So you add some residual heat from the uh, butter, so which is now our herb garlic butter quickly as we just diffuse all the ingredients and let that go a little longer. Now one of the main questions is how do we know when a steak is done? Uh, so preferably, I would say medium rare, I'm um, looking for a temperature of 115 degrees. So you want to stick it, you don't want to go in too deep, you just want to go in the center of the, of the steak so you, you get a correct temperature read. So once that reads 115, I know it's time for me to pull my steak off, put it in a cutting board, allow it to rest. You allow it to rest just for the simple fact of once you cut it, you don't want to let the juices run, which gives you, uh, which can give you a, a dry steak. So let it rest, let the juices settle, and that's when we do the to cut. So now that the steak is finished, that's when we're gonna take it out. We retain the correct temperature that I'm looking for to retain that, and now we just put it out and pull it up. We're gonna uh, hey, hey. we'll take it out, put it in a cutting board and like, get ready for it to rest. But I'll, I'm going to keep the herbs. So as the um, steak is resting, I'm just going to glaze it. Put a cup's worth of chicken stock. Season that with a little salt and pepper. Like I said before, you can deglaze this with red wine. Also, you can deglaze, where I reduce that, add your chicken stock, they reduce that by a quarter, then that's when we start to mount it in at least a tablespoon or two of butter. So this makes up for a quick, easy pan sauce. Something for a quick dinner, uh, under 15 minutes uh, for dinner. So, you know, you're not spending much time in the kitchen. So if you have other things to accomplish, you just know that you can have a nice quality meal quickly. So we add the butter, then we're just going to either swirl the pan or just uh, stir it with like a wooden spoon, but I'm just gonna swirl it or just use my tongue as well. Just let that go for a little bit. So you can see the sauce is starting to come together. Just gonna let that reduce. Uh, let turn the fire up a little bit more and just let that reduce. So easy, easy um, dish to prepare. Meanwhile, as the steak is rested, I like to come up across the bone and just give it nice thick cuts. Butter is nicely emulsified, and we're just going to take some of it and just drizzle it right over the steak. And always let a nice garnish of rosemary. All right, guys. To have an easy preparation, quick, easy of preparing a steak, whatever your choice is, whether it's medium rare, whatever it's medium, choice is up to you. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and just try the video and let me know your thoughts. You cook with food culture and I enjoy, look forward to cooking with you again. Thank you.